How's it going everybody? And if you stumbled across this video, then you're obviously looking to put walls around your settlement. I'm going to show you how to do it the right way because I've seen so many videos out there where there's loads of gaps and they've used mods and cheated and glitches and stuff to do it. So we're going to do it pure vanilla, no mods, nice and easy, no gaps. There's going to be one gap, but that is intentional. So I'm building this at the Starlight Drive-In because I find it's the most flat and the only glitch we're going to be using is the concrete wall. So we can raise it as we're building and then we can lower it through the floor so there'll be no gaps in the floor because the problem with this game is that the, the walls don't really snap on the floor, do they? And it, you get all these horrible gaps and it just looks awful. So the starting point is we're going to have like a cube, I guess, if you want to call it that. And this is going to be where you're going to put some turrets later on if you want to. You don't have to. But we're going to have these in every single corner. And you have to use flat, the default flat warehouse walls. This will get rid of any clipping issues. And the whole point of the cube is that you'll get no gaps this way. So you can't just have a straight up normal 2x2 two two wall all the way around. And just to note as well, this is going to be a two tier wall. I'm going to show you the one tier version as well. So just copy as I'm doing and then stop after the one tier and you can be happy with that if you want to go two tier obviously follow it all the way to the end now there's pros and cons to walls a lot of people will be in uh, agreement or disagreement um when you get raided your walls can um be decent if they're stuck on the outside but raiders and super mutants and whoever's attacking you can spawn inside so walls don't really offer anything in terms of defense sometimes they're good sometimes they're not but, but they do look fucking cool. And that, that, you know, you can't deny that. Everyone likes a walled off settlement. And again, the only major con I would say is if you're going to do this a lot bigger, it's going to take up a lot of your size meter. So unless you, you want to use like the glitch where you drop the weapons to reduce the size meter or use mods or anything like that, this is going to take up a chunk of your space. The wall I'm doing now, which you'll see, will take up a about a quarter away from halfway and I, I built a fairly decent settlement inside it wasn't it wasn't too bad but it wasn't by any means big at all so if you're wanting to do a massive settlement with a wall around it you, you're gonna need to glitch you're gonna need to gun drop glitch or use mods because it's just not possible I was about to say possible like I can't even talk today so again like we did before this is gonna be the corner and then you just keep building. I'm going to speed it up though because you don't want to see me do this in normal time. So I'm just going to keep building up until the point where I'm kind of happy with the perimeter of, of the wall so far. And about here, I was pretty pretty happy with that. Again, it's going to, because it's a two-tier wall, it's going to go in further by an extra layer. So even though it looks quite big now, it's, it's still got another wall to go in. So the size of the inside area is going to be like kind of, not drastically, but it's going to be reduced. So I'm not going to build all the way to the end here because I need to make sure before I start going any further, um, I probably should have done this sooner to be honest, is you need to start walling off your, your cubes or boxes, whatever you want to call them. Because if you don't and you leave it late, you're going to get some clipping issues. And this is why, again, we're using the warehouse flat walls because it just makes it easier. You don't get any, because uh, with the other walls of the warehouse, you get like pokey out bits and gaps and stuff. And they look nice. You can do them all, you know, all differently all the way around your settlement. But just for the corners, for the sole purpose of the corners, use default. And if you're wondering why I'm using warehouse wall, is because I tried with the normal wooden walls, and you've got one design that looks a bit similar to the warehouse, like the rusty sort of metal or steel sort of look. And oh my god, the clip in there. And it just it wasn't tall enough. I like the tallness of the warehouse walls because it's it's a bit taller and it suits it, especially with the two tier. So I used that instead. And I did plan, I did actually make a plan to use the first bit of the wall, the first tier, as warehouse walls. And then use the, the top tier as the, the, the default wooden walls. But again, it didn't look good, so I stopped. So now that we've got the outside done... Just start whacking whatever walls you want on. Obviously, go for warehouse. Don't go for barn or anything. And then do it again on the inside. And there's your one-tier wall. All done. Railing it off. Put some stairs leading up. Put some machine guns up. Put some guard posts down. Whatever you want to do. That is it. That's, that's it. That's pretty much it. Just drag it down with the concrete. And that's your one-tier wall. But if you want to go further. If you want to be a man or a woman. And, and go hardcore and have a sick-looking base. 
you need to carry on. We got we got we got to do the two tier. There's no there's no point half arsing it. And this was the point in the video, well, when I was recording this, uh, where I realised I used the wrong wall. This is the walls you don't want to use. No gaps. Go for the default flats. Now, if you are wanting to do a two tier wall as well, don't don't put any around the inside, any walls around the inside. There's there's no point because you're just gonna have to scrap them or store them for later use. So just save yourself time. You're not gonna waste materials doing so because you're gonna still need the wall. So you can just pop it uh, pop it back into your um into your workshop. So you're not gonna waste the materials, but it's it's just gonna be one of those things where it's like time consuming. So now we're above. You need to make sure you've got one gap there. See, nice and nice and in line. So there's no, there's going to be no gaps when you put the walls down. So you just got to make sure you've got it right on spot. And we're doing the corners, but unlike the first, the first corners we put down, these are going to be pointing inwards to the base more than they are outwards. If you notice the first cube boxes I put down, they poke outwards, and this is again for a reason. And this is to keep it all no gaps, nice and good, no issues, no clipping issues, none of that. So we're done here. And again, now we've all got to just go and put walls all around the outside. So we'll, we'll skip past that and speed it up because you, you know how to do that by now. Surely you don't need me to help you there. And again, just, just go for all sorts of different designed walls. You know, make it look a bit different. That's cool. You know, don't want the same walls because it looks crap that way. So this is the entrance. So what I'm going to show you to do is basically pick an area where you want the entrance and another reason why we're using flat walls because this is going to be a visual example visual aid guys so this is where i'm going to have my entrance now what you're going to want to do see this gap here as you walk through you don't want to see that do you that looks awful why would you want to see that so remove the floor go to the warehouse walls again put this one in and if you go to the default flat walls bang snaps right in no clipping issues no gap lovely how awesome does that look? This is why you use the flat walls for anything to do with corners and doorways, any of them shenanigans. So, now that that's done, go around the outside, uh, well, the outside, the inside, and just put some walls down. And here again, look, is another example. I accidentally put the wrong wall down and not the flat wall, and it's not clipping. It just doesn't want to clip. So, go to the default standard wall. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Go to the default standard wall. And then you're going to get no clipping issues and things will just snap in perfectly. So just go around all the inside and do that. Nice and easy. And that's what it's going to look like. It's looking good so far. It's getting there. It looks a bit all rusty in that, but I like that. So go back to the concrete wall. Drag it down. But don't drag it too far down because you'll make the doorway so short that people won't be able to get in. I mean, I was pushing it here and there is a few gaps Look. See, you're not going to notice these much though, luckily. But if we did this completely flat without the concrete wall glitch, there'd be gaps everywhere and it would look awful, as, especially as it's got rising up into the terrain and it's just a major issue. So pick a point that you're going to want your guards or settlers to get up to for the first tier wall. This, I don't know why I had to put another wall bit down here, a uh, floor down to get up, but it we can going to delete that later so i won't worry now we're going to do scaffolding to get up there and let me tell you putting scaffolding down is literally going to be a test of willpower determination and patience because i nearly raged hard when i was doing my scaffolding it it did not want to snap and you're going to see it firsthand in a minute and, and I don't know what it is. It's not because of the walls. Because whenever I try and do it normally as well. When there's no other buildings around. Still scaffolding does not want to snap with each other. And man. It's, it triggers me. It really does. It 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 makes me rage hard. It's the only thing that's got, that's got me like really annoyed with this game so far. Was the, the snapping of the, um, of the scaffolding. I mean I've had some snapping issues in the past as well with certain things. But oh boy. Snapping, uh, snapping scaffolding is pushing it to the limits. And what we're doing here as well is the scaffolding is going to take us to the first tier. So we can have some guards patrolling around the outside perimeter of the first tier wall. And then we're going to go up another level as well to the second tier wall. So we can put some machine guns up, put some more guard posts up, whatever you want to do. And on the inside, 
it's up to you what you want to build. If you want to do this in another settlement as well, that's up to you. This was what I was talking about earlier as well. This is the only gap you're going to get because we've we've gone up and I'm not going to put a cube or a box area sort of here. You can do and then you're just going to have to have some um, warehouse flooring just to go like around. So there'll be like a pokey out bit on the side. If you want to keep it pure aesthetic, no gaps, that's fine. If you want to use a mod to get rid of the gap, go for it. But there's uh, unfortunately no half walls or like very small walls uh, on the warehouse tab at all uh, without the help of mods. I don't know why they don't have it in vanilla, but that's just how it is. Look at this, look. Refuses to snap. Absolutely. Ah, oh, nearly had it there. There we go. It's just, and this is not this is not the only part where I don't want to snap. It's just, oh my god. It's, it's, it's rage inducing. And it's annoying because I really wanted to build like a really cool sniper tower. This was like another video idea that I had. Um, a sniper tower based on using scaffolding. And it just, nah, it's not going to happen. Never. So once it actually allows you to snap, you're, you're good to go. And all you're going to do is build it two stories high extra. So it leads up to um, the second tier wall. And then you are done. Once you're done, put some railings around whatever you want to do. Fences or the wooden railings or the metal railings. I prefer the metal railings with the scaffolding personally because... They look ugly all together, which is really annoying, but it's just easier to use, basically. It, it just gets the job done. But if you want to use mods or, again, whatever, it's up to you. I'm just giving you the uh, the basics of the wall. And as you can see, look at the size meter now. This is with some stuff in the settlement now, though, but it does take up a fair chunk. So if you're wanting to do this pure vanilla with no glitches and mods... You get, you're going to have a hard time building a big wall. So just keep it the same size as mine. Otherwise, you, you just, yeah, you, you're going to set yourself up for disappointment and a headache. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know if, you, if you're going to do it to a settlement, like send me a video, show me pictures. I'll be interested to see it. And that's what it looks like. It Walls complete a settlement. That's, that's, that's the story here. Like, they don't add any defense, but... They're good. They, they, they just finish off a settlement. I've got a couple of machine guns up. And just in case you're wondering before you ask, yes, the machine guns can shoot through the railings. That is not an issue. And that's what it looks like, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Marcy, it's Christmas Eve. Marcy, it's Christmas Eve. I've got a present for you. What? Fuck you, bitch.